tantalizing. You know, I make fun of The View a lot, but that's only because they keep talking. <laughs> Those hens are always clucking. They get to say stupid stuff for an hour every day, and then I get to say stupid stuff for an hour every day, except on purpose. <laughs> But every now and then, one of those dingbats inadvertently says something that reveals modern liberal thought so perfectly, it deserves further study. You know, like a weird serpent that washed up on the beach and you want to poke it with a stick. <laughs> Take the COVID lockdowns. Remember all the small businesses that went under? All the children scarred psychologically and emotionally because they couldn't socialize with each other? It broke up marriages and ruined what I had with Taylor Swift. <laughs> well, never mind all that stuff, because COVID also taught Sonny Hostin how to get her groceries delivered. Yeah, I know, amazing. But that means it's time for... Living your life and you're feeling low. You don't know what is true. You don't know what's true. So you quick flip through the channels to watch Sonny on The View. Oh my God, the stuff she says is dumb. Where the hell they get this woman from? And she's a host who's always crass and lame. With lots of nonsense to proclaim. If you want to show where people know the host is stupider than you, then set your TV on and watch Sunny Hassan on The View. Ha! Nicely done, Gene. <laughs> you are hired for one more day. <laughs> so, Sonny, I bet you haven't been in a supermarket since COVID for about three years. I haven't I been in a supermarket, supermarket for, since like, COVID. I, uh, for about three years. That's when I discovered Instacart. And I, I, I give them a big tip because they don't always pay their, their people well. And it's, it's, so that's been a, an issue, I think, for the company. But man, you can get toiletries. You can get fire logs. You know those big bounty towels yeah. you don't want to carry? those from Costco. Somebody else goes. Fire logs? She had to tell the audience that she tips big because even she knows she sounds insufferable. Hey, I'm an but at least I tip. <laughs> this dame probably virtue signals on the toilet. But that's not the point here. While everybody else was trying to figure out how to survive as the government told us that breathing in public could kill us, Sunny was lolling around in her big house, clicking on pictures of arugula while mixing Cocoa Puffs into her haagen -Dazs. Oh, the oppression. I wonder if she wiped down the groceries herself or had her maid do it. She tips her, too. Sure, lots of people started getting their groceries delivered during COVID, because we were told it would help save the world from the deadly virus that suddenly appeared for no apparent reason, leaked by no particular world government. We're all in this together. We're all in this together, remember? Just like Jonestown. <laughs> but unlike this chick, we didn't think it was the best thing that could have happened to us. Although it did get Joy Behar to wear a mask. It's funny, her, her being named Joy is like me being named ugly. <laughs> but we didn't breathe a sigh of relief that we never have to set foot in a grocery store again. I love grocery stores. I treat them like strip clubs. I'll spend hours in the cookie aisle staring at the Keebler elves until I'm aroused. Then I'll stick a fiver in the bra of the old lady handing out free samples. I'm only kicked out. I'm only kicked out when security thinks my jean shorts are too small. <laughs> they can never be too small. But most people went back to the grocery stores when the emergency was over. We went back to normal. True, I went back to not washing my hands and instead happily sneezing on the elderly. <laughs> but if you work on The View or anywhere else in the liberal media, you're insulated from the world, just like blubber insulates them from the cold. Oh, I give those poor people a big tip for scurrying around gathering food for me and hauling it to my mansion. Yeah, thanks for the 20 bucks, lady. That's good for two to three gallons of gas so I can get back home to my kids who are having bologna sandwiches for the ninth night in a row for dinner and urinal cakes for dessert. 
You know, when the rest of us criticize the lockdown's lingering effects, people like Sonny just wave it away because it hasn't affected them at all. For her, it was one giant excuse to sit at home and dip Eskimo pies into Alfredo sauce. <laughs> she doesn't care because she doesn't have to. It's a class thing. And it's why she plays the race card so often. So you don't notice it's a class thing. Her life stinks of classism. Crime is on the rise. Just hire private security. Illegals are flooding into the country. Don't live near the border. COVID, uh, just stay home forever. Let the peons take the risk for me. Schools suck. Hey, more idiots to watch the view. <laughs> this lady is more out of touch than Janet Yellen's barber. <laughs> And it is a barber. It's the old Howard Stern rant. You idiots who need freedom are killing people. Why don't you just sit home like me in my Hamptons compound and work from home? Again, let the peons take all the risks. My God, how the mighty fart man has fallen. These elites are so isolated, they've forgotten that most Americans don't get paid to sit in a comfy chair pontificating about everything all day. <laughs> Nope, some of us are cameramen whose names I don't know. <laughs> but maybe one day when we finally strip away this phony race war, it will finally expose this elite mentality. And we'll find out Sonny is just like Marie Antoinette, except she says, let me eat cake. <laughs> let us welcome tonight's guest. She flunky, you must be tall sign at an ant farm. Co-host of America's <laughs> Newsroom and the Five Data Burrito. <laughs> what a yeah. He's responsible for more collars than Izod. Former NYPD inspector Paul Morrow. <laughs> He may be part titanium, but he's strongest in his cranium. Retired Marine Corps bomb technician Johnny Joey Joe. <laughs> and finally, she's like the Dead Sea Scrolls, hard to read and covered in dust. Fox News contributor Cat Tip. <laughs> Dana, welcome to the show. It's Thank a pleasure you. having you. Thank you. Yes, yes, Very yes. Very sophisticated. Yes, yes, and I'm glad you kept the same clothes on that you wore on the five. Yeah, well, it's been a long day. It has been a long day. <laughs> weren't we the only show, I would say this show, the five, we're the only shows that bucked this sentiment. We were the ones saying, like, we're on TV. We can't tell people how to live their lives. Absolutely, and yeah. we were worried. I, was, I specifically remember being worried about the taxi cab drivers because they, a, a lot of people in America actually live paycheck to paycheck. But if you're, if you own a cab, and you're not getting any customers, that means you are not able to take care of your family, and that was a really big deal. Also for Sunny, if you are a person that talks about how big of a tipper you are. Yes. The chances of you actually not being that great a tipper are really high. That's the Jesse Waters thing, right? He always talks about his tipping. <laughs> yes. Jesse's honest. He's not a great tipper. <laughs> okay? He's honest about it. And I would imagine that the people filling up her Instacart don't think she's the greatest tipper. Yeah. And yeah, and then she she bashes the company like they don't pay their workers. Right. You know, that's like so she's still she's still like one of them, you know, she's one of them. Uh, yeah, but I, but I give him extra money. She's so sweet, that Sunny. Uh, <laughs> Paul, do you catch The View very often? Is it on your uh, DVR? Well, it's The View into what? Domestic hell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, wh wh what exactly is it a view into? And who came up with the names, if you think about it? Yeah. Sunny, mm -hmm. Joy. I actually think at some point here we may all be getting trolled because this is clearly such BS. Mm -hmm. Are we really supposed to believe that, first of all, what did she do? She researched the company to see what they pay their people. She went on the internet and pulled their tax returns. Somehow or other, I'm skeptical. Yeah. And then the idea that Joy Behar is so uh, interested in going out in the supermarkets and, you know, mixing with people, getting your opinions. You know, I, when I go to shop for eggs, I just want to hear from, you know, Trump Nation. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> right. You know what she says when she talks to conservatives in supermarkets? Where's your manager? Mm. Yes, oh, exactly. Because yeah. that's who she's talking. That's what they're hearing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Soup. This coupon is good. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> it said that this 
12 pack of pastries was on sale. I know. It says 1999, but I'm telling you, it's still good. <laughs> yes, uh, it's still good. good. You know who I am? Yes, so. exactly. She tries to eat all the food before they put it on the scale. And by the way, that, <laughs> that mental image of you in the short shorts in yeah. the aisle, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be mental. Talk to me later. <laughs> Joey, uh... Yeah. I don't know. You look I, 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 We're good, man. <laughs> this is... Listen, this is what happened when you take men out of serious conversation. <laughs> A sexist would say... Uh, yes. Uh, nicely um, done. Yeah, you know, I've learned from the best. But, but it, there, you know, that's why I'm outnumbered. We always have one lucky biological cisgender male <laughs> sitting right in the middle just to keep things where they need to be. <laughs> Yeah. When you when you let those four or five women have at it, 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 those four or five women have at it, they just go places that make no sense whatsoever. And listen, how much are you supposed to pay somebody that pulls things off of shelves and puts them in a cart for you? I'm just curious. Like, what is paying them well and what is paying them badly? I mean, I just paid a guy $25 an hour to come help me pick things up and move them, but at least, like, we were being productive. Yeah. You know, like, you know, what are you supposed to pay somebody to grocery shop for you? I mean, you can't just hand them your dignity, which is what you should do. So what can you pay them? <laughs> I have to say that I have, uh, I do use, uh, I, I use, it's not Instacart, but once in a while I will uh, send somebody to a 7-Eleven. Like it's, Are you buying your firewood that way? I no, mean, it's this, 11 o'clock and I, I mean, got munchies. If this shirt says nothing else, it says I chopped my own wood, yeah, right? I she, mean, come on. Do you think she's a closet arsonist? Because she said that she's been doing, she's buying fire logs and paper towels. It's, she does have some Antifa vibes. Yeah, I think she's know. part of Antifa. It's the BLM in her, I guess. I think we, I think we uh, broke some news here. So, Kat, let's talk about the class issue here. I think, and I said this earlier and in my monologue, that I believe that she is, she's like a perfect classist. She is a snob, she's an elitist, but she hides behind the race card so you can't come at her. But she's got all the breaks, she's got all the money. She obviously like wants the peons to take the risks that she doesn't have to. All right. Yeah? Um, okay, look. <laughs> uh, I don't think that part of it was that bad. I don't think, like, I don't want to sound like a huge one percenter here, but I don't think that Instacart is just like a millionaire thing. Right. Uh, not everybody who uses Instacart has the kind of money that she has. My main issue with this segment was how mind-numbingly boring it was. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about their grocery preferences. <laughs> I watched the whole thing for quite an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. Sonny was like, I, I hate the store. Like, fiery hot take there. And she, then she's like, yeah, I like Instacart, but don't worry, I tip the pores. But, you know, Joy, you actually don't like Instacart, and you do like the store. And then Joy is like, yeah, I do. I like to go to the store. I like to walk around and see what's at the store, what I do want, what I don't want. Maybe I want tuna fish, and I just want to hit myself in the face so I can feel something. You know, it's like so boring. And... I'm not so bothered by the fact that, like, oh, she's so rich, she uses Instacart and thinks she's oppressed. I'm bothered by the fact that she got rich having conversations that are that boring. Yeah. There you go. You know, you keep applauding her, she's going to continue to use that foul language. <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.